Okay, so this is what I call the anti-life reality of this matrix, okay? There is Simba Dog, and as you can see, I just went up for a shower, so I come down and thought, um, I feel clean. So I come down, and there is, after I've already cleaned it up before I went up, and I come down, and there is all this feces everywhere, and this is also all new kind of matting and stuff that was put here only a few days ago because we have to keep throwing the matting out. Now look at this. This is what I come down to. This is the matrix. This is um, the God entity. I'm just showing it because I was going to make a video just go out the front with the planes. But I come down to this so I am... Um, upset and um, angry. Now, um, I can hardly bend over. I mean, I'm mobile, but I find it difficult to bend over. So you have to bend over to clean all this lot up. Now, these are all new blankets and things, and the bed was thrown out. He just goes through beds like water, you know, because he had great big beds and things, and they all get destroyed because he... Um, basically um, defecates on everything and pees everywhere. But it doesn't matter if I, you know, like I offered him to go out. See, this is why I believe in possession, because I offered him to go out. Now, normally, a normal animal does not want to do its business where it has to sleep and live. Even this chair is kept for him because it's really had it and it's disgusting. And I want to throw it out. I've been wanting to throw it out for a year, a year and a half. But he sentimentally sits on it and, and you know, like even though there is a new chair out the back there to put there. Now, this is just so that human beings have to live in squalor and uncomfortable circumstances or surroundings daily so that we're always feeling sick and dirty and uncomfortable and ill. And I know I'm sounding angry here, but it is the truth. I may not be able to put this video out because it will cause me personal problems. So I might have to delete it, but I'm going to keep it. And he almost looks innocent, and it's tragic in a way. Because this is an old dog, supposedly, certainly in an old body. See how he moved in an old body. But the entity that is inside this body is not probably old. Well, it actually probably might be very, very old. Uh, let's see. There's P there too. He's sitting in that as well. I just had it all clean an hour ago. Yes, I can talk to the dog, just like the cat. But probably wouldn't be cooperative for the video, I wouldn't think. Yeah. But it's the same thing. This is not my dog. But if the dog moves its feet, the same as the cat, and even when it moves like that, that is answering my question. Are you the original? Just wait till he stays still. It's important that they're still and relaxed and then you ask the question because that way you can see it. It's probably going to play for the video anyway because don't forget this is a possessed animal. What is inside the animal is going to make me look stupid and is not... What is inside the animal is not a dog. Oh, I don't know how to explain this. See, I don't even know what the entity is that is inside the dog. I only know that from three and a half years ago, as soon as the Matrix opened up, the first thing I noticed was that a dog 
had been taken over in some way. I thought that it was the original Simba dog, but that he was being technologically controlled by some um, outside force, shall we say. You know, in other words, um, that I thought that some, um, maybe some powerful people that were trying to um, get rid of um, the last people or something, you know, because they didn't like them or thought they were useless or something because at the time I didn't know the real situation and I wondered why I was being um, almost um, driven to the point of... um, leaving this earth shall we say and that's no joke because um that was the case but i wondered why um but i also wondered why they don't just get rid of what they don't want anyway because at some point i realized that they don't want you but at the same time they can use you for a period of time to keep, and that's that's how I eventually come to all my own conclusions about what was going on. Because if you don't like something and you have the power and the means to get rid of that person with no questions asked because it will just look natural completely. And either way, you're in a matrix, so most of, the, um, most of what is around you is all part of the matrix anyway. So it, it probably doesn't matter that much, I wouldn't think. But they still play it. I'm not quite sure. But that's why they play playing it. See how he moved his head as if to say, yeah, we still play it. See, I can read this dog the same as the cat. Because don't forget, I've been reading him now for three and a half. It'll be four years at the end of this year that this matrix has totally exposed itself to me. And I'm not saying I wasn't dealing with a semi-matrix before that. In other words, a semi Um, you know, circumstances that were uncomfortable but not um, absolutely completely devastating and confining and restricting like they are now and lethal like they are now. They were um, covert. That covert, covert, yes, everything is very covert or whatever. I suddenly realised that the other day because I've been using that word a fair bit too. And it simply means undercover, hidden, you know, as we know. It used to be a um, TV show that I used to look at called Covert Affairs. I used to watch it just a little bit. Yeah, well, you shouldn't watch these things, but the titles are... You shouldn't watch the shows, but you can certainly take the titles in. Um, I'm shouting, I'm sorry, but I'm quite upset and angry. Not a good way to make a video. This is a sad situation because this is really pathetical. This is the matrix at its most diabolical worst and this is what most people are part of and think is acceptable. To have animals sitting in their own feces and of course they could blame me for that but I'm trying to clean it up and it's not my dog and I can't manage. But I wanted to help this dog three and a half years ago and it worked against me. And it's gradually gone from bad to worse. It's been one thing after the other. I have to say that from the day this dog came to live with me, six years ago now actually, because it even started before the Matrix opened up, this dog has been just one issue with it after the other. Whereas before it came to live with me here at Leichhardt, it seemed to be a free, happy dog running around in you know on in, in golf courses and... And the most active, athletic, muscle, muscle, muscular looking dog that you would ever see. And was powerful and strong and fast. At a physical level, this dog was, um, you know, I don't, I'm not a dog person, but, you know, as a dog, it was a remarkable dog at a physical level. And then, for some reason, it went blind. And even that, I wasn't even aware of till it was almost too late to do something about it. Although, I don't know. There again, circumstances always made it complicated to where, um, you know, having the eyes fixed would be a problem. 
And of course, it's not my dog, so there was always discussions that way. You know, in other words, the usual debate. And you usually... I'm bending over here and I... But I don't know why I'm mentioning all this, really. It's it's a dog video, like the cat. Um, look, this dog is possessed. This dog I knew was technologically controlled right from the start. From three and a half years ago, I knew it was technologically controlled. I didn't know it was possessed. I thought it was just the original dog that was being controlled by technology. I knew that the dog had no real free will of its own. I knew that the dog could be made to do anything who was ever at the end of some form of technology. And I knew that it was probably being operated by the chip that is inside all animals just about in Sydney. They're a microchip that's put in just about every animal that that is brought into being almost, shall we say, to where if you lose them and, and you know, they, they can then um, take them back to the owner because the chip has the name and address written on them. That's put inside the animal. All dogs in Sydney just about, would have a chip inside of them. And I was aware that the, that at the time I thought, how are they doing that? And I thought, oh, well, obviously it's because all dogs have chips in them. So the technology is, you know, being sent to the chip to control the animal. That's what I thought originally, three and a half years ago. That was before I became aware of total possession of animals. Um... And it's a similar thing in a way because the beings that um, that occupy the um, body of these animals are probably technological in nature or in essence or in substance or I don't understand those things. So I'm trying to use words when I don't really even understand it. All I know is that it's anti-life and anti-human if you want to look at it that way. But it's not a natural living animal this is not a natural living animal it looks like one and that's why i felt terribly i actually like this animal quite a bit even like it was old because it looks old and i thought it an old animal should be no trouble for me i thought or at least less trouble than an, than when he was active because you know it would move slower and i could walk it around that did not prove to be the case at all but now the dog can't hardly walk at all because the Matrix is finished with this dog now. The Matrix is finished with the body of this dog. The being that's inside of it um, doesn't care for me to or its owner to walk down um, Norton Street round the corner there with it as we've done for the last um, about two years now or three years, well, three and a half years, but, but with the owner as well. Um, they don't care for that now. They don't want um, anyone to be seen walking the dog, so they've made it so that the dog's body cannot um, operate. Because what's inside of it doesn't care, because it can probably be put in another body for all I know. This is just all human manipulation and human control. I have to turn this off because he wants to go outside, otherwise he'll make more mess. Sorry, I'll have to make a more complete video when I'm more composed and not angry, whatever.